Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about this morning my Malden planners. So I have five Malden planners. I have an A5 purple, but that still has the rings in it and it's over on my shelf. But I've always been obsessed with the Malden leather. I've had so many different Malden planners that I have gotten in the buy sell trade groups and then I bought them, sold them, traded them. So I had at one point every single color pocket. Um, I had the vintage pink. I regretted selling that. So then they came out with the, I believe this is the fuchsia, but it really, I don't know. It reminds me of the vintage pink color, but it's definitely not because I sold that one. So here in the pocket size, ochre has always been my favorite. Um, I just love the classic brown. So I go back and forth with this one. And I have a notebook that I go back and forth with. Um, this one here. Okay. So this one here, I cut down a B6 Slim Nanami paper. It has 384 pages. It's a cafe note. So I did cut this down. And I go back and forth between the fuchsia and the ochre. So with these here... And the ochre, I have it more set up because I use this one more. I created this. I just took a piece of craft paper and then I just folded this to fit back here. And then I tucked it under the pen loop. And then it's just some sticky notes from a sticky note thing that I had purchased somewhere. I don't even know where it came from. It had like sticky notes and it had... Um, sticky notes and then like I think a notepad and some paper clips actually this paper clip over here was part of that as well so it was like all coffee theme but then in here I had cut this with my Cricut laminated it just to have something cute in there I have a whole bunch of page flags back here it's got the big back pocket so I just have some papers in there but then I love the Maldens, but I just, the rings for me are too small. If I could put larger rings in them, which you really can't accommodate it, I would keep them as ringed planners. That's why I like my Moturn pockets better because they accommodate a lot more paper. So this is my little ochre. I love this baby so much. Um, I've been pulling it out more playing with this. That's like a private journal that's in this one. So that's why I'm not sharing the pages. Um, this one is again, that fuchsia. So the way that I took the rings out was I had to really like bang them out. Um, I don't have any here, but it wasn't like the ones that you can unscrew, like the Moterms. It wasn't the Krauss rings. It was like those, the Filofax rings. So I had to kind of like with a letter opener, a knife, all different things, tools to try to get them out. So finally I got them out because I don't have a drill. I know that a drill will make it so much easier, but I don't have one. Then I sliced open the top with my craft knife and then I pulled out the back plate. So it, then what I used was leather glue to glue it back together. Like under here, there's one little tiny spot that sticks out, but... I don't even really notice that. So again, in the pockets, I have just like some journaling cards that were laminated. I don't have anything in the back pocket because this one's been sitting on the shelf more and I've been using the ochre. Do you see the difference in the leathers? Like this one is more wrinkly. This one is more smooth. I absolutely love the ochre. So those are the pocket. <laughs> and then I have my personal size. This is the stone. Now this one is a lot firmer than the Kingfisher. So this one, I don't know why. I mean, I took the rings out the same exact way, but this one really doesn't like to lay flat for me. So I have to put a really thick book in there, like a moleskin expanded that's cut down. So in here, I just have, it is the gray, it's the stone, is the color. So then I have like the rose gold and just kind of like pastel-y journal cards that I laminated in here. There's some more back here. I loved these journal cards. I don't even remember what they were from. Uh, I think it was actually a scrapbook piece of paper that I cut down and just cut around them, punched, 
rounded the edges and then laminated them, rounded the edges again. Um, but I love the color combination of like that peachy pastel with this. And then this is back here. So this one, well, I mean, actually this one is not laying very flat today either. Um, but this moleskin expanded, I cut down from like an A5 size to a B6 because the D-ringed personal planners will accommodate a B6 size book. So this one is 400 pages. It's very, very thick and it will accommodate it. Um, if I was to chunk it up, it's not really going to accommodate it so well with the strap. I wouldn't be able to close it. So, I mean, this will just slide easily. I say easily, but because I'm on camera. Um, you know, in and out of this book. This one is definitely stiffer than the Kingfisher, but you can see it will close. It does accommodate the book. I love the Malden leathers. Um, they've always been a favorite of mine. I just wish that their pocket rings could be bigger. I know that they can't, but I wish that they could. And then I would buy all the covers, like all the colors, because I love Malden leather. So this one, these, I do not use the pen loop because it does not stretch whatsoever. So it's just the full leather loop. There's no give. So I just leave it flat. Um, but this book that I have in here, I'm going to put some journaling cards in the pockets. This book I have had between Moterm covers and these covers, but it's basically like a goals in different sections of my life, a health reference and a brain dump. And then I left a lot of it open so I can add more sections as I need to if I change my mind, like if the brain dump section is not working. So like this is how I set it up in the beginning because it was fall. So it has more like a fall theme to it. And then there was spiritual goals, personal goals, parenting goals, relationship goals, business goals, financial goals, health reference. Um, you know, why does the body need water? And then I had a weight tracker going, um, COVID vaccines, thoughts, you know, I did get vaccinated, but there was just some thoughts <coughs> of both ways. If I didn't versus if I did, um, blood, high blood pressure, my blood pressure was running high for a while. So I did look up ways to, you know, lower the blood pressure and things like that. Um, who's more likely to develop high blood pressure, ways to lower the blood pressure, cholesterol, my numbers were off and you know, what is it? What causes high cholesterol complications, things like that. Blood sugar was high for a while. So I had that in there brain dump, you know, I kind of just, um, I'm just reading over these notes to make sure that there's nothing personal on there, which there is. So, you know, just any, like I would put my weekly layout and just anything that I had going on in there. And like I said, I do have a, uh, purple A5 Malden that still has the rings in it. I would not take the rings out of that one because I would not want to carry a book around that's that big. So that one kind of always just sits at home. So then I've got my journaling cards over here. I have a huge bin of journaling cards. So then I would just see what I like because we're in the spring, you know, I would cut these down and just stick them in here. I could probably just cut these in half and stick them in here this way. I can laminate them. I don't have to, um, but because we're in the spring, I would probably like to do, you know, um, like spring themes. But it, I love this one for that, but there's really nowhere to put it. I would have to like put it in here and just let it stick out a little bit um, because of the way that the pockets are. So, I mean, it would just be looking, finding something that I absolutely love. You know, I do like the butterflies. Butterflies were my mother's favorite. So, I mean, that's like how I would set up the pockets. Um, and it doesn't really have to match perfectly for me. but I'm not just, I'm just not finding anything that's like jumping out at me, like pick me, pick me. So I would really have to look through and see what I want to put in there. Um, but these are my Maldens guys and I love these. Um, I've had them forever. I would not ever list these for sale. Malden leather is my absolute favorite. And for this to be able to accommodate a moleskin with 400 pages, it's a durable planner. So, I mean, right now it closes with ease, but 
once it starts to thicken up and chunk up, I would have to, I mean, you can like lift it up a little bit and see, you would have a little bit of leeway, but then that strap is gonna pull. So this, I absolutely love each and every one of my Maldens. And de-ringing them, <clears throat> it was kind of a pain, I'm not gonna lie, because I don't have a drill. I'm just gonna put these away and I'll work on that later. Um, because I don't have a drill, it was a little bit difficult and complicated, but we got it done. They work for me. I love them. So if you're ever considering de-ringing your planners and you're worried about, will I ruin it? Will I still be able to use it? As long as you go about it the right way and take them out nice and easily, you'll just have a small hole here. So yes, you can definitely do it. And I say go for it. Would you rather have a planner that you love that just sits on your shelf that you do not touch because you wish it looked different or you wish that you could put a bound notebook in there? Go for it. Totally go for it. That is my advice. We pay a lot for these things and why just leave them to look at on the shelf? Use them however you need to use them. So that's my advice. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.